of Cancer of the Lung, uh, Scotland, uh, trial results. Thank you, Chair. Um, have most people already heard the presentation in the main auditorium? Yeah, so, so this is just an yeah, abbreviated version, and like Dr. Lamb, it's about targeting uh, screening uh, more effectively. We did a phase four uh, trial, uh, really, the technology the underpinning the science has been worked on for the past uh, 20 years, uh, going through just all the preclinical work, validation, using the case control retrospective. So this is following patients forward uh, before it gets ready for uh, prime time in uh, cancer control. So the people we were targeting were asymptomatic. Um, they were, we tried to target the most deprived quintiles in Scotland. Uh, so we went to the practices that served the most deprived areas um, and searched through the records to, to find patients who had more than 20 pack years or a first degree family history. And they had to be fit enough for surgery. Um, when we spoke to the thoracic surgeons about this study, they said, don't send us people that we can't uh, treat. So they had to have an ECOG score zero to two. The uh, test um, is here, they you can see in the arrow, uh, seven uh, antibodies against these uh, antigens. Um, and this is really why it's an early uh, cancer diagnosis, because uh, these um, antibodies come to these abnormal, abnormal proteins right at the beginning. If people had a positive blood test, they had an immediate chest X-ray and CT scan, then followed up uh, six months ago for 24 months. If they were test negative, or they were in the control group, uh, then uh, we just waited for them to appear with symptoms and they just got standard uh, NHS uh, care in Scotland, uh, which is free at the point of uh, contact for everybody. And the um, principal outcome I'll be presenting shortly, shortly is this. That it was the difference between number of patients with stage three, four run classified at diagnosis. Um, this is a modified um, uh, consort diagram. We wrote to 77,000 people. Uh, some others uh, self-referred because they heard the study was, was going on. And uh, after having a phone call to pre-screen, they were given an appointment to come up to go through all the criteria. We randomized 12,000 and the randomization worked. Um, and that's what we found really, uh, that there were uh, many fewer uh, cancers, late cancers, in the uh, group who had the intervention uh, compared to the control group. Uh, the uh, sensitivity and specificity are here. High specificity, um, moderate sensitivity, better at one year. Professor de Koenig asked the question, how many patients tested positive? Well, out of the 6,000, it was 598. So about 10% of people have a positive test and then get followed up. And that is the main um, outcome that we'll be putting into the main paper that we'll be submitting uh, next week. Uh, we were adequately powered uh, to detect a significant reduction in late stage cancers and it started to become evident at around a year. We weren't adequately powered for mortality, um, but both all cause and lung cancer mortality are starting to separate by two years and we hope by following the patients up uh, at three, five years, we'll be able to come back to the conference and report on that. And that is the, the conclusion slide. 36% reduction in late stage presentation, uh, two years, which seems worthwhile uh, clinically and statistically. We did manage, because it was a relatively straightforward blood test, to get uh, most of the patients in the deprived area. Very high follow-up using administrative data, and we're wanting to move on uh, to the screening case finding. We will have some economic data early next year, but I imagine uh, that the full value of the test and where it sits with screening will depend on these larger studies being completed. Thank you.